I'm uh, Jenny Secker. Um, I was involved in setting up open arts and I'm very, very proud of that. The best thing I've done in my whole career, I think. Because that was in response to very positive findings that I had from a research project across England, um, looking at the benefits of arts participation for people with mental health needs. Open Arts run 12-week courses which are for groups of people to get a taster session on all different things to do with art, collage, acrylics and watercolour. Open Arts is very much around experimentation, trying out different, different arts media and having a lot of fun doing that. It reminds me of nothing so much as playing. But the most important thing for me is not about what people produce in their artwork, it's about how they socially integrate with other people. Confidence is, is probably the biggest thing in terms of mental well-being. People say it's just improved my confidence so much and so my self-esteem, I feel so much better about myself. I became involved with open arts when I wasn't in a good place and it really helped me. And from that it made me want to help other people. I mean, open arts aims to promote both social inclusion for a group of people who can be very socially isolated, of course, um, and also to promote mental well-being. Some people have been socially isolated, not had the confidence to get out or talk to anybody. Again, it was a man who said just quite recently, said, uh, this course has been the first social interaction I've had outside of my family in about 10 years. And through the 12 weeks groups, they actually form friendships. And sometimes people's medication can be reduced you know, because they're in a better place after they've participated. Following on from the 12 week course, people are then offered a placement at a studio in Headley, all for free, all funded. There you get a six month placement working in a small group and it's all self directed. You just decide what you want to do and bring your own stuff in. My daughter hasn't been well recently and I had to give up work in a care home to look after her permanently. To help her out getting back into school, we got involved in an art group who in turn asked us to come and help with the war memorials, asked us if we'd be willing to lend a hand. I have ever done so it's all new to me I'm a bit nervous in case I make a mistake it's very important and it's an historical event for Canby and I don't want to be the one to smack it all up <laughs> I got involved with Open Arts through doing a 12-week course at Ambleside Community College I got so engrossed with the art there that I really wanted to continue and have now become a volunteer I just want people to be able to enjoy it as much as I have. A lot of people take up voluntary work either while they're still doing the course and, or, or immediately afterwards because they've get, gained the confidence to, to take on more in their lives. It's about friendship, confidence and all that goes with it. Everybody, 100% of people say they've enjoyed open arts, that's absolutely everybody. Both my daughter and myself we thoroughly enjoy it, we thoroughly enjoy the opportunity. Uh, one of the, the guys who took part in our research said, just said quite simply, open arts is pure joy. It doesn't matter what form of art you do, it's, it's just a way of expressing yourself and how you feel and other people loving it just as much as you do. Um, and, and what people talk about is seeing the world differently. It's opened my eyes to my environment and to think, things that I, I see that could become my art. And my favourite word is inspiration because that's what it all is about. Art is inspiration. 